Hello everyone, um, I'm going to be talking about the dream that I had. Uh, this actually happened a while ago. I've just been holding off on making this video. Um, I don't know why I have been, I guess. Uh, just thinking back on it, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, <clears throat> but bear with me, I'm going to do the best that I can. So, when I, when this dream uh, started out, I was at work. Um, it was nighttime, and I work on a base, so when we had to go outside, there was something, there was a war going on, just chaos started happening. So, we had to go outside. Um, it was like I was on a big airfield. There were planes flying in and landing there were planes flying out it almost was futuristic so there were these futuristic planes like hovering and flying off and it was like we were we were at war a war had started um so as i'm outside on this airfield it's like nighttime uh we are told that we have to join this war or we have to get our heads cut off um when I heard that immediately in my mind, I said, well, I'm going to get my head cut off. The reason why is because I knew that this was not a war that should be happening. It was something that was not right. It was something that just I knew in my heart that it was not supposed to happen. Um, we were fighting against our own people and um, it was just terrifying. I remember in that moment, I was just terrified. <clears throat> and this is all happening as I'm still outside, as it's still nighttime, and planes are flying, flying off and landing, and bombs are going off, and um, all of a sudden, after you know they're give, they're talking, saying, "Hey, if you don't go to war with us, then you're going to get your head cut off." I look over and I see my best friend who I work with. Um, this very futuristic robot contraption grabs onto her hair like it's pulling it up in a ponytail twists it around a metal arm and completely rips off her head and you know i do apologize if that's really graphic but it is what happened in my dream um and i just remember thinking oh my gosh like i, I didn't even know what to do at that moment i knew i couldn't run i knew that um, I had, I had to die and I knew that if I was going to die, it would be in God's name. Um, and so all of a sudden I, I remember, okay, I, I guess it's my turn now. Um, and I look over and my husband is standing there and my husband is the one that has to cut off my head. Um, so I just remember praying out. I remember saying, God, please, God, this is in your name. Please take me, Lord. Please, if, if I, if this is going to happen to me, this is going to be in your name. And I was screaming out to him and calling for him to come save me. And, um, all of a sudden my husband has an ax in his hand and he has to cut off my head. And then I wake up and I just remember thinking, what just happened? Why, why did that come to me? You know, and I, I spoke with my, my dad about it and he suggested that I do, um, do record this video for you guys. And I, you know, the one thing I hope comes out of it, I hope people really think about it and people think, you know, where they stand with God. Um, I know in my life, I, de I definitely need to focus a lot more on my relationship with the Lord. And I know that I need to talk more about the Lord because I would never want something bad to happen and me not make the right decision. Um, I, you know, things like this, it, it does scare me. I do think, well, you know, there is that thought in the back of my mind thinking, you know, what if? And I have to, I know that that's the devil talking and I know that I just have to be right with the Lord and I know that I have to live in his name and do his work. And I know that everything's going to be okay. And I think that's just my biggest struggle. 
Um, so I just, I hope that everyone listens to this and I hope that, uh, if they have their own dreams, if they have something that comes into their heart, that they share it as well. Um, this is, like I said, this is something that's taken me a while to do. Um, but I, I knew that I had to do it. I knew that I had to sit here and share this, uh, cause I really hope it helps someone. I hope, um, that this video, I hope more people come forward and more people share, you know, their dreams that God has spoke to them, um, about, and they share their thoughts and, you know, they just spread the word of the Lord. Uh, so, you know, that's what, that's what I need to start doing. And I, I really need to start, um, praying more and, uh, you know, I, I really need to start changing things in my life as well. Um, so I hope everyone uh, takes something from this, and I hope everyone has a good rest of your day. Um, all right, thanks.